crash your heads there. You know, Tony, as I said earlier, this is something I never did. I never stopped and waited for the ref to decide anything. And I'd like to see more fighters to take that attitude. Protect yourself at all times. Good jab by Ms. Ragusa. We've seen Zab come out in the past very explosive. Quick left hand. Seems like he's taking his time. I asked him to you know, need a knockout. He said, you know, I think he liked one. Babuza doesn't care. He just wants a decision to take a win. But I think Zab will see if there's any explosiveness coming as the rounds go on. You know, that was a great, a, a great observation, Tony. Zab always comes out much more aggressive and much faster and harder than he did tonight. So, again, I think he's refocused, rededicated to the business of boxing. He used to run out of gas, it seemed like, or just hit a bump in the road in the middle of the fight. Maybe he's just saving the gas tank now to come on strong later. One of the greatest fighters in the world in Zab Judah. He wants to be pound for pound again. At 33, it remains to be seen, but at least he has that goal. And he's given himself to, to religion. And really nice body shots there by Mabuza. Mabuza coming on late in the round. Less than 20 seconds to go, round, round number two, scheduled 12. Mabuza pounding away in his own corner. Showing his toughness. Zab just not throwing any punches. You put it with the mask there, but the right thing, you know what? Because you aim in ya. Aim ya. Don't aim ya. Aim ya. Because he's moving in all time. If you miss, it's not a problem. Bonus time is body. Deep breaths. Out. You hurt him in the body, he doesn't like the body. He puts it. And here you have Mabuza coming in really hard, trying to get these body shots off to slow Zab down a little bit. Because what happens is, if you go to the body early in the fight against a, a fighter like Zab Duda who likes to move, like Mabuza just did, you will slow the fighter down toward the end of the fight. And those shots that you were throwing to the body to slow him down, what you'll do is you'll bring them up to the chin and possibly, possibly score a knockout. One at a time. Here we go, round number three. Zab Judah in the purple. Kaiser Mabuza in the white, red trim, the tassels. Tony Page along with Jamil McCline, big time McCline. Nice little right hand by uh, Mabuza. Coming forward, throwing punches. Looking for Zab to open up soon, but so far not, not yet. Mabuza putting the pressure. Nice overhand, right hand by the. It looks, you know, it looks as if Zab Judah is playing around in there, but he's not. It's just his style, and it's more, and, and, and it's a lot of what P Pernell Whitaker has, has worked with him over the last three, four months. Just getting down, staying low, right in front of your fighter, which only the talented fighters can get away with. Him. Now, Zab said all he, uh, uh, Pernell said all he had to do with Zab was fine tune him when we talked to him. Might he have fine-tuned him too much that he's, he's a mirror image of Purnell, more defensive? Because Purnell didn't have the pop that Zab does. Is, is he, or is he just holding the, the, the firepower to later in the fight? Well, I'll tell you, if he is holding, if he is holding himself back and, he be, and, he, and he's being a lot more like Purnell Whitaker, add in, add in Zab Judah's power, we have a dangerous combination. This is with the right hook. Good, good right hand by Kaiser Mabuza. His hand gets caught in the ring support. I remember in, in Pernell Whitaker's heyday, he would stand right in front of a fighter and he'd throw six punches and couldn't hit him. I see a little bit of that in Zab, but even Pernell, without the pop, would, would fire back. Right. I see, what you're, I see what you're saying. I'd like to see, I've always said, you know, sometimes I'd like to see Zab throw more punches, but I think he's doing really well here tonight. I think he is. I think it's very deceiving 
Mabuza's power. power mm -hmm. Mabuza, I think, has a tremendous amount of power in his punches. And what Zab is doing is trying to stay out of the way of that. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Still waiting for Zab to open up a little bit. It's, it's Kaiser who's, who's on the offensive right now. Punches are landing. Nice little left hand. I think I think he I think Mabuza is definitely walking this uh, walking Zab down as opposed to following him down. Now it's, now it looks more like he's just walking him down. In the last round Zab was was moving away from him. Now he's just kind of moving back. Correct. I see Zab open up and not yet. Straight left. Wobbles him a little bit maybe. Wonderful movement by both fighters. Some, here's some of the key of what Zab Duda has to do tonight to be successful. He throws a good jab, then he throws three jabs right after that, and then throws the, the, and then he throws that left hand and throws Mabuza off balance a little bit. I don't know. And there he does it again. He comes right out and does it again. Um, I guess it's something they've been working on, Tony. Well, you know, I gave that last round of the Mabuza because I thought he won the first you know, two minutes, maybe more, and Zab came on. Now you see the explosiveness of Zab, the power shots to the body, up to the head. Maybe he just was feeling out Mabuza for a couple of rounds, and now he's going to drop that power and see what happens. I thought he wobbled Mabuza in the last round a little bit, but he seems to be finding the, the, the range now. Zab back up on his toes. He saw a little shoulder roll. That's another point I would have considered, but I think that might be Judah also. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, as I said, you know, it looks like Mabuza's stalking Zab. I'm not sure if he is actually stalking Zab or is Zab allowing him mm. to think he's stalking him. That still remains to be seen. Zab starting to open up the offense a little bit. More aggressive now. Mabuza a little wild with his punches. Slowly coming forward, Zeb back on his back on his feet, moving around. Emil, I know you, you like to look in fighters' eyes. What, what do you see in these two guys right now? I see absolute determination and absolute willing willingness on both by both fighters to do whatever it takes to come home with that championship tonight. Without a doubt, that is what I see in their eyes. There may be 33, but you can see you can teach a dog, an old dog, new tricks. You see that defensive presence, and that's Colonel Whitaker's trademark on him right now. He's very alert, you know. Nice right hand by Mabuza right down the pipe. Zab is very alert. You can see his uh, forehead. You know, his forehead is very wrinkled. You know, his eyes are very wide. He's very focused right now. He's, he's alert. He's watching everything. Look this. His ground hit. His, his glove hit the camera. Is that a count of a knockdown? Yes. His glove. I know he slipped. He was off balance. That was a slip. Yep. But you know, that, that happens. It's the same thing happened to Floyd Mayweather when he slipped and he, and he touched the ground. Well, you know, let's see, and let's see, Tony, if, if Zab stays under control. Yes. Let's see if he keeps his composure because he was very upset with what he felt was a mistake call. So now we just got to see if he's going to stay focused and continue. Beautiful movement there again. Seconds to go here, round number four. Yeah. 
started messing with that puppet. Keep trying it. Keep doing it. I need you to keep. I need you. To, look, come on. Take it down do it to again. the bottom. Do it again. In your left hand with that one two. Throw that one two. Get that get two jabs right in the left hand. Or, or and then take it to the body. Right. Now here's a replay of that knockdown. You know, let's see if he did. He did hit him, and yes, Zab did get his feet crossed. His feet did get crossed, and the, the punch is more of a forearm to the neck, but it caused him to go off balance, loses. Was it the power that knocked him down? No, but technically. He, his he, his did, his he did, his hands did touch the ground, that's so a it knockdown. was a knockdown. And, 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 and coming down, and coming down the stretch later, I tell you, this may, this that last round may play into, uh, may come into play, being that it was a 10-8 round. I, now I gave it a nine down. I thought, I thought. The, I, I, I think so too. Yeah. I, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was more of a nine-nine round. Zab was winning and you take a yes. point away. And then he came back after the knockdown and still did well. And we saw Zab lose his cool against Kasha Zou many years ago and it seemed like he was losing his cool for a minute, but he's back focused, refocused. Again, I think Zab is definitely in the business of boxing now, no longer in the business of ego. Older, stronger, smarter, more effective, Zab Judah. Well, this seems like the old Zab with the power and the straight shots. Babuz is coming forward, dropping his right hand a little bit as he comes in. You know, I think Mabuza definitely has a lot of power. But oh, yeah. Zab does not want to get hit tonight by some of that the shots that Mabuza is throwing. People always worried about Zab's uh, chin. He dropped the piece in the last fight. Seems to come back from it. Really his quick punches. He has the hand speed, always has that. You know, you mentioned Zab Judah's chin. You know, Mabuza hasn't yet has, has yet to get a chance to put his hands on Zab's chin. There he is playing a little bit, letting Mabuza know that he is he is one of the greatest fighters. In the look world. at that! Look at that! Great defense right there. That's three shots in a row. Mabuza's missed. And he lands a kind of slapping left, right rather. Mabuza's switching southpaw, trying to trying to upset Zab a little bit. Nice little short right hand. Mabuza winds up on his punches when he has Zab cornered. 